Hello, hello, hello. Happy, happy, happy Thursday. I hope you guys are having a great day. Rachel and I are so excited to be here because we are using some of my favorite pillows. Rachel, are you not obsessed with these? Yes, and they're flannel. If they're only flannel. The ladies knew, ladies and gentlemen, knew how much flannel is going to come their way. We are, we've got flannel mugs. We've, we've got flannel. We're going to use flannel and make some flannel ornaments coming up. We've got our flannel pillows today. These are amazing. And Rachel, the whole reason I had to pick these up at Michael's, look, you've got your flannel and then you've got your fur. It's super soft. It's going to look great in your home decor. So many of our members at makersgonnalearn.com in the Facebook group has been sharing using all kinds of really fun pillows with our files. So today we're going to share with you not one, but two awesome ways to make some really fun DIY Christmas themed pillows for this holiday season. It is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Yes, a big question is, can you use your easy press on pre-stuffed pillows? Rachel, what's the answer? Yes. Yes. It's something we tested last year with some really inexpensive Ikea pillows just to see if it worked. It worked great. And we've been using it all throughout the year on so many different projects. And their, their options with pre-stuffed pillows are amazing. Like there's so many, you can find them at Target, Walmart, uh, Michaels, everywhere. Use your coupons on these because these are a little pricey, but they're not really they bad. They were 40% off when we got them at Michaels. You can't, you can't beat it, especially this time of year when holiday Christmas decor is on sale. I know, I know, I know it's the beginning of November, but it's time to be getting ready for the holiday season. So Rachel, is anyone tuning in with us? Oh yes, we've got Belen, Melissa, hey. Donna, Abigail, Shannon, Juanita, Kimberly, and it's Adeline's first time watching Adeline, live. welcome, welcome, welcome. So excited you get to hang out with us today. If there's any other brand new first timers, be sure to leave us a comment. If you are watching and you haven't left a comment or two already, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your crafty world. We're just excited to hang out and craft today. So let's jump into it. Again, we're using the iPad. Yesterday we had to take a break because we were using the knife blade. But in today's video, we are going to be featuring two of some of my favorite um, files from the Christmas uh, collections at Makers Gonna Learn. We're using Merry and Bright, and then we're using their Snow Place Like Home. Rachel, their Snow Place Like Home. Like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so here's uh -huh. the deal, guys. We've had a huge debate about their Snow Place Like Home, and it's a it's a grammar. It's a grammar thing, Rachel. Do you want to explain it? Do I want to explain <laughs> that so, there's no snow place like home? There's no place like home. Right. It's kind of, I mean, you can't really be grammatically correct with this file. It's, that's right. It's so, hard to be. So when I read it and there, there's snow place like home, it sounds better. Yeah. But last week, um, last Friday, we were debating if it needs an apostrophe S and then it would be there's snow place like home, which I guess would be more so. I don't know. I, I think like a play on words it's, like it's definitely supposed to be there there's no place like home it mm -hmm. all comes out it's not hard to say yeah you know grammatically i mean yeah maybe it needs a little fix but i think to the eye to the ear it mm -hmm. looks and sounds fine i love it and after you know we talked about it in the live stream friday we went back to look at our notes with the designer and we actually had the same debate so it's really interesting we're still using it the traditional way that we had it after much debate internally um, this is just what looks the best and whatnot. So we're sticking with it. So you, you guys can choose which you prefer. I've actually talked to a few of you about it um, as well, just because we were so interested about knowing. Um, but here's the two files. And if you are brand new here and you want access to these files and over a hundred more just Christmas files and probably 500 plus files for just all year round join our membership site it is a amazing value these are some of our christmas files we have print and cut there's so many amazing files that you are going to love, I love this one. oh it's I love perfect one. isn't it's it beautiful. yeah so if you're interested in learning more about it click that first link below and it's going to take you to this page right here which is our sign up page it explains what we're about lets you know what you get with the membership. Each membership gets that free commercial license. You get those, um, the 
Facebook group, live streams, projects, no ads, and special prices for our summits and our courses. Um, year members also get a lot of perks, so be sure to go check that out. Um, with this membership tier, you're, get, you're saving three months. Instead of having to pay for three months, you're getting those free. So instead of getting billed $19.99 for a year, you're only getting billed $15.99 a month. So that's a huge value. Um, so you get extra perks, extra trainings, being a year member, plus you're getting that financial incentive to save. So we love that. And we just have so much fun. So do, what is everyone talking about, Rachel? What everyone can we- Everyone thinks the file looks great. How it is. They love Yay. the play on words for Christmas. And I just want to shout out Jennifer. She left us the sweetest comment, Tanner. She oh. said, hi, I'm new to your program. I absolutely love everything that you all show on here. And I just want to tell you how great you guys are. Mm, Jennifer, you're so sweet. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching and supporting us. Like that seriously makes our day. So yeah. thank you, Jennifer. And thank you to everyone. Seriously, as long as we're getting such great engagement, so many awesome viewers watching, not only live, but the recordings, we are going to still be trying to do these as often as possible. So continue liking, continue supporting. Um, be sure to let us know what else you want to see here. If you looked around the studio, we are decked out for Christmas. So we've got a ton of more ideas. We are just getting going in the holiday season. So seriously, it's going to be a lot of fun, but let's get to, let's get to crafting. Is it, is it time? Is there anything oh, else we need to talk about? No, we're ready. Awesome. We let's do it. Very ready. So here is our two designs like we we're talking about. This one right here is in our holiday collection from last year. So if you're an active member, over 580 active members right now. So if you have a die cutting machine, you'll love the membership. First link below. We're so Plug. close to 600. We're so close to 600. Yes. I'm so excited. Um, you guys are amazing. So thank you all. But this is in the first holiday collection and this is in the new Christmas collection. So we've already cut out Mary and Bright and White Iron On. And look, I just, I just want to, I need a third hand. Wow. Um, <laughs> look at how great this is going to look. Oh my goodness. So we're using White Iron On on I'm our- I'm gonna die. Uh, me, Rachel. This is so cute. Rachel and I are going to fight over who gets this pillow. If you Ooh, all, if you I'm all really, the boss, but I'm gonna put up a good fight. <laughs> if you all really want to know what's going to happen, so here we already cut out the Marion brat. But what we're going to do, I've really been able to simplify these files down to, you know, right here. This is a, traditionally a two-layer file, so you could do like red and blue. But what I want to do here is just make this cut out, out in red. And it'll look really great on this white and black. Oh, like yeah. I'm so excited to see that pop. Um, so let's go ahead and click make it. And we're just going to replace what we already had on our mat. No big deal. And oh, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I apologize. We're going to click layers and we're going to select this um, blue layer and we're just going to change it to black. So just moving it down. It's pretty simple. Okay. So we can just click make it and replace. Oops. I still, oh, what did it do? Rachel, I'm losing my mind. I need to go take a nap. I guys select your image and just come down here and press weld. Why didn't I do that to begin with? Not sure. So we're going to click, make it again, replace. And there we go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. So, so sometimes I do things with an extra step or two. Sometimes I know the right way to do it right away. But guys, you can do the same thing if something like this happens to you and you're like, wait, what's happening? I need to go back. Um, you could also have attached these, but well just simplifies like everything to make sure that you are doing it correctly. And again, wow. you can look here and see everything that you need for the project. So that's super awesome. Yeah. And guys, if you're just tuning in with us, we are making some really fun pillows. So thanks for hanging out. Share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you got going on. Yeah, and these are from Michaels. Yes. 40% uh, off when we went. Yes. But get your coupons if you go to grab these. And again, we can use their easy press on free <clears throat> stuff pillows. So like Tanner said, the possibilities are endless now. You don't have to be hunting for a zipper, you know, mm -mm. just get whatever pillows you'd like. Right. And I love these pillows. Like seriously, they're going to be awesome. I know they're probably going to be snatched at your local store. So be sure to go over, pick those up. We're using our easy press too today, but I've been getting so many questions about the easy press and which easy press do I need? 
honestly guys it's personal personal preference we love all our easy presses there's a whole video talking about the new easy presses on the channel so you can kind of learn a little bit about them and the differences to decide which one is right for you um, my personal thing is i think the nine by nine size is still if you're only wanting to invest in one uh, easy press nine by nine is such a great size it's for great. everything yeah. like big projects it's not too small small projects it's not too big so it's one of those things i really like it and um even the original easy press like since they've came out with a new nine by nine in this red color it's a really affordable so i'm just saying there's gonna be deals there's gonna be steals it may be perfect for you to pick up we love all our easy presses they they've given us such great results yeah and especially if you craft every day like me and tanner really <laughs> and you use a lot of iron on you're gonna want to you know invest in that because if yeah. you're still using an iron and you're paying so much for this you know the material, your, you know, material uh, you're putting so much of your crafty time mm -hmm. into it the pillow yeah. put good in get good out yeah you know? yeah and invest it, in some stuff the reason why you need this is the evenly distributed heat like oh, when, here, we go. here we go when you're using an iron and you're trying to that thing is not some pieces will get really burnt like almost burnt yeah. um like crinkly and then some it'll look like you never even touched it which is really frustrating and guess what if you have projects like that especially t-shirts if you try to use that it is not going to wash well no it's and, not. and the easy press is just effortless you know yeah. it just really does its job well and the easy press mat is wonderful but another thing with this project there's just really not a need for a mat because it's it's not gonna make it down there with the heat so no mat is required for this project but let's go ahead and click continue we have our red iron-on already loaded in always load that shiny side down so just like so and we've already put mirror on so we're just gonna select mirror as our material you mean iron on you said it's like mirror as our material. Guys, I need a nap. Tanner is tired. You know what we're talking about. You all know. You all know the drill. So we're gonna give that a little more pressure because who doesn't love that? Tanner always gives. I don't pressure. know why. I, honestly, I don't know. Pressure. I don't Looking know. Looking at her. You know? Exactly. You yeah. know. So it looks all good. We have the um, cue from Cricut that we can press the flashing Cricut button and get to cutting. So I'm gonna press that right there. It's going to detect our blade and then it's gonna start cutting. So we're super excited. It, who do we have watching with us? What do we got going on? Oh, uh, we have a ton of stuff going on. Yay! Everybody's <laughs> loving these pillows. They're dying for them. Ooh. Um, we have a couple of viewers saying that this is their Christmas theme this year, this <gasps> buffalo plaid. So they're so excited. If that's your theme, it needs to be my theme too. Yes. <laughs> and Jennifer has a question. Okay, hey Jennifer. Would you use the Easy Press, which I've got, or do you have to go to the computer to do that also? Um, so the easy press, that's a great question, runs on its own thing. You don't have to have a computer to run uh, the easy press, but you cut out the file, then you would use your easy press. So I hope that answers the question. Yeah. And Elizabeth said she's coming here, she's watching us live as she's making glitter ornaments. Oh my gosh, glitter ornaments is one of my favorites, and you guys seem to be loving that video. We've got like over like four or five thousand views on it so that means like really great for us we love that yeah. um so yay i'm so excited you're making your glitter ornaments i need to be making some more for gifts but look at that tell about all the got. What we've all got have? we have plates that we're gonna do cookies for santa we've got the pillows we've got i'm so excited to use white ornaments and then we're going to use plaid vinyl oh i'm so excited get excited for that, for that. Yes, we have bags we bags have pillows we got mugs we have vinyl, or uh, we have everything plaid, everything um we have i'm trying to look over here plates we've talked about that uh oh we have some really fun um things to put in your kitchen for like hand towels like kitchen towels what would you oh, call that yeah plaid kitchen towels mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's gonna be really fun so we're all about plaid this year so if you guys aren't get on board we have other projects that aren't related to plaid but it's really fun. I mean, I had a flannel birthday party this year, if you all weren't familiar with that. Um, so that was important. It's very important to me. I love it. Look at how quick this is cutting. Like, gosh, we don't even have to do anything anymore, Rachel. Like, it does it all for us, which we love. So I guess while that's cutting, could we hit this one? Sure. Okay. On. I don't know why not. Does, does this look good? I'm going to turn it around here and make it. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I love this. So it's really easy. We had already weeded this out and just cut it with regular everyday white iron on. Right. Okay, Rachel, I'm going to let you all make the decision. How's it look? Perfect. 
Are you sure? Are you sure? That's perfect. Don't second guess yourself. Okay. So what we did was we used our Easy Press reference sheet, and this is 100% polyester. So we just said that we're using a towel um, since we're not using the Easy Press mat. So at 330 degrees for 30 seconds. So we're just gonna go ahead and lift this up. Look, this is gonna be a one hit wonder. Oh my gosh, I love this. So we're gonna apply just a little bit of pressure. Now, since there's stuffing in there, you can see like I can move it. Um, so you may wanna hit this a little bit longer than traditional and that's totally fine. And that's um, a great tip, Tanner, for when you're doing pillows to, to, you know, tell the little reference guy that you're using a towel. Yeah. Because some people might get questions about that. I don't know what I would do if I was choosing <laughs> that. So that's a great Yeah. Tip. Just, I, I like to go with the higher temperature option because yeah. without the easy press mat, you know, with the easy press mat, you're able to go lower temperature because it's sending that heat right back up. Right. But with this, it's not. So, ooh, I actually think this is looking really good. One of the questions we get in our Easy Press classes is that if you see bubbling, is that bad? Like, is it not going on well? It actually means it's going on well. So, I'm going to kind of look around here. <gasps> Rachel, this went on really well. Like, you can already see right here, it's already like popping up. Oh. Yeah. So, I think this went on. <gasps> look at oh this. My gosh. Guys, this, this is, is so effortless. Easy. And you want to be careful at this step just to pay attention because if there's any spots that you may have missed heat, um, hitting, this would be the time you'd want to go hit it. So like, mm, no, so we're good. And this is a very textured fabric. So it may, yeah. look, like, it may look like it's peeling up, but it's really not. Oh <gasps> look at this one pillow down, Rachel. That's so cute. I love this, guys. This is so much fun. This is probably my favorite project we've made in a while. Don't, it's Rachel. So it's, I mean, literally, I didn't think it was that but easy. Look at it. I so love cute. this. Oh my gosh. So guys, if you join our membership site, look at all the different collections that you're going to get. Rachel loves to talk about there's over a hundred. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I add it up correctly, there's 120 to 150 plus ish files that are all Christmas. But in addition to Christmas, you know, this is a Christmas collection. This is a Christmas collection. You're getting all of these other collections. As soon as you join, there's over 500 die cutting files. Year members get exclusive trainings on how to use the die cutting machine, how to use um, Cricut Design Space. There's so many bonuses. So if you click that first link below, this is our sign up page, okay? So you just click right here. You can see everything that we offer to you guys. You get a free commercial license. So if you wanna take this pillow and sell it at the craft fair, sell it on Facebook Yard, sell eBay, anywhere that you get a custom order, you are able to use all of our trendy files completely free as long as you have an active membership, which is huge. And being a year member, is going to allow you not only to get the financial savings right here for three months free, billed at $15.99 a month for 12 months, but you're also going ahead and pre-ordering yourself for all the files that were coming out for the next year. So you're getting access to the 500 plus cut file library. You're pre-ordering yourself into 500 plus more. We have bonuses coming out, guys. It's legit. And Tanner, <laughs> I like to say this all the time, Tanner will get we generous on you through the year and he might do some extra stuff yeah. and you want to be locked into that year definitely oh yeah and we love it this um we just gave everyone earlier this week starbucks um because i just felt like it was time to give everyone some starbucks we did that they a few times a, a year they needed yeah. to treat themselves yeah so we love oh. treating you guys to fun stuff in the facebook group the members all of you guys have been getting so crafty i'm like so impressed with everything you're making that it's inspiring me to get crafty even more. Yeah. So you all have been rocking it. I love it. So if you're looking to join, this is a great time to get excited for the holiday season um, and to get crafty. You don't want to wait. You want to join today so you can get crafty. You know, our whole mission is to help you guys stay creative. Okay. Like that's, that's everything we live for. We hope Fully give you cut files that inspire you to craft. We want to give you the tips, the tools, anything that you need to help you stay creative. That is our goal to provide you. So, and we love giving them inspiration like this yeah. on our live stream. Yeah, and it's just so hard. It can be overwhelming when you walk into a craft store and you see all the possibilities, but you don't know what exactly you want to do. Like, believe me, like I get overwhelmed every day right like yeah. when you think of what do i want to make and if you're investing in a die cutting machine it's not a you know a, a 
cheap investment. So we want to make sure that you feel like you're getting the fullest value out of your machine. And we hear people all the time saying they're not confident to use their yeah, machine. Yeah, and we want to make they sure. Don't know how to create the craft mm -hmm. that they see, you know, that they want to replicate or they want to get creative and make things for themselves. And we, you know, we're all learning here. You yeah. Know, so don't be afraid. You know, it's a community. Help. We yeah. love it. So yeah, in addition to the files, that's what we really want to make sure that we help you guys do is help you stay creative, help you feel confident in your own projects and everything like that. So we're just weeding here. And if you're brand new to Cricut, maybe you've never worked with iron on before. And if you're a little overwhelmed, that's okay. Because guess what? I was overwhelmed too when I first used it. You have to mirror your image. You have to put this stuff shiny side down, whatever that means. You know, there's so many different things when you're, if you're a first time um, cricketer using iron on that you're like, uh, I have no idea what that means. But promises, like I can promise you right here that you'll get the hang of it and just be a pro. Um, and it does just, the more you practice, the more you use it, the more you understand, oh, okay, this is how I do that. Yeah, just like everything, you know, you have to start somewhere and you get better the more you do it. And, Definitely. You know, the more you try, you know, the better you get and the more options that you have. And it's just, it's exciting. Yeah, it really is. We love it. Oh, it's Jessica's first time. <gasps> hey, Jessica. Did we have two Jessicas tuning yes, in long? Yes, we do. <gasps> hey, Jessica. What a popular name. Yeah. And again, these pillows are from Michaels. We love you Michaels. You have to go get them because, you know, these things are going to go. Mm -hmm. Look at them. They're beautiful. And they're 40% off when we were there yeah. like last week or so. So yeah. hopefully they're still on sale while you're there. And Tanner, we get this question all the time. Okay. About a couple people asking. Let us know. Do we have any files that can be sold individually? No. So here's the deal, guys. These are all exclusive hand lettered custom designs that are only available to our members. We don't sell these individually. I have no intentions on ever selling individual files. That's not the business I'm trying to run here. Like we're wanting to have a community of you guys and the files are pretty bomb. So I, I think there's a ton of value there yeah. in all our files. So and uh, can you join if you're in Canada? We've got sure. Maria. Asking. Hey Maria. Yes, you are more than welcome to join in yeah. Canada. Just know that it will be US currency. So that's sometimes a little confusing for our friends. I know we have a few members in England and Australia and a few other um, countries. We love our international friends. Yeah. And we do have a couple questions for Miss Jennifer. Hey Jennifer. Um she wants to know would you do a second hit once you lift your transfer tape off? Um, depending. There's been times that I would. It's all personal preference. And I can look at my project. I can feel my project. Like, look at this. I can feel around if there is, if it looks good, if it, you know, everything like that. You don't need to. But you have to have the transfer tape on there at all times. If do you're not burn your iron on. Right. Make sure the transfer tape is on there once you hit it a second time. If you do. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And Jennifer also wants to know, why do you mirror it? Ooh, great question. So if you see here, we're, we always put it down shiny side down. Um, so it goes down this way. So it has built-in transfer tape. Ah. See right here? And That's you have why to, you put it on shiny side down? Yeah. And yeah. then you mirror it. So when we turn it over to put it on our project, we'll be able to read it. So yes, working with HTV um, or iron on, whichever one you want to call it, this is pretty much just heat transfer vinyl. Yeah. Um, like I said, it has its own kind of set of rules that's different than um, you know traditional vinyl. But it's my favorite, to be honest. Mine but too. It's, it's limitless with what you can put it on. We, you know, we can put it on wood, any type of clothing. There's a ton of stuff you can do with it, and it's super fun to weed. You know, it's oh, really, yeah. it's really easy to weed. Like you know, Tanner's just having fun here weeding. It's awesome. And guys, what I love about this is I said it has built-in transfer tape. You heard me say that correctly. Yeah. Um. So that's why you're gonna pay a little bit more for it, but also it needs to be really quality iron-on so that it lasts through washes and people using it on your sofas or you know just wherever you're using this it's got to last yeah. so we only use cricket iron on then my motto is if they're good enough to develop the machine they are going to be able to kill it at making our consumable wow. products anything from our craft knives to our cutting mats to um vinyl transfer tape everything you know they have and they've been doing such a great job they've came out with so many awesome things to help us with where, where we're at crafting so i just love it now rachel oh where else am i missing i know rachel normally knows where where and what i'm missing anywhere. 
Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Right. And another thing is sometimes these little bitty pieces get stuck onto the transfer tape. Like if like if that's there and you take it and hit it, yeah. that's gonna be on your project. Oh, it's stuck. Yeah. It's stuck. So make sure that those don't Clear. not get there. Yeah. Do not get there. We recommend having a weeding box, but I don't like to have my weeding box on camera just because it shows that just is a little distracting. But if you're at home, you can put like paint a tissue box or anything like that and upcycle it to just yeah. be that thing that you have. So look at this, now we're peeling this up. Oh my goodness. Let's take this white and black one. <gasps> Are you ready to see ready, this? Ready. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn it this way first so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, the easy press is talking to, oh, <gasps> Rachel. So oh my gosh, I, oh wait, I just turned the easy press off. What am I doing? <laughs> um, look at this. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it to you guys. Tell me what you think. Should we, should we do anything with it? You, you think we're happy? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm so excited. Guys, this is gonna look really good. Ugh. They're gonna look really great together. Yeah. So, okay, we're gonna take this easy press. I think it'll be best if we, oh. Well, we'll hit that up there a second time. Oh, so, and we have a great question from Maria. Hey, Maria. She asked, why are we waiting on the mat? Oh, here's the deal, guys. You know, when you all watch live, you get to ask questions, right? Um, first of all, I love weeding on the mat because it's, the best thing ever. Like it's the best thing since sliced bread because it will keep your project together um, and you're not having to use your other hand to hold your hold your iron on down or anything like that. Um, you know, it kind of holds it for you. So it kind of just makes it easier. So, okay, I'm going to move up here a little. Uh, look at this, Should guys. Put the button for yeah. you? There you go. So we're just getting some extra heat up here. Oh my gosh, this is going to look really good. How awesome. So guys, what do we got going on? It's Thursday. You know, if you yeah. are looking for an excuse to get crafty this weekend, do you know how many members have joined and been able to get crafty with us on the weekends? Like it is a treat yourself moment. If you have got a die cutting machine and you want to be able to get crafty with us, join the membership so that you can get access to all of our cut files and be making any or all of the projects that we have already made. It is going to help you so much. I did not finish hitting this up here, so I'm just gonna give this some pressure. Sometimes it's a little difficult when you have There's to... our bubbles that we love to talk about. Yeah, though. Those it's are awesome. good, good sign. Yeah, so if you love these craft files and you want to use them too, you can click the first link below and get signed up for your membership. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love it. I do too. How stinking awesome is this? And again, this is the time where you want to look and see, okay, so the C right here for some reason isn't sticking super well. Yeah. So we're just going to hit it a little bit and sort of see how that does. And we're having, we're getting some beginner quick questions. Hey, ask away. I love, love beginners. If you are a beginner, yes. this is the perfect time to ask your question. So yeah. please let us know. And Christina is a first time viewer. Hey, Christina. Really and the pillows are from Michael. Mm -hmm. Again, people keep asking, but that's oh. fine. If you come in late, you just ask away. Yeah. And uh, oh. one of our beginner cricket questions is, uh, how does the machine not cut the uh, transfer tape? So it knows exactly what to cut. And we just selected the, um, the, do, do, do. We just tell it what to cut. So like yeah. right here, you just select iron on. Yeah. And it knows once you select mm -hmm. iron on that there's some transfer yep. tape down there and it ain't gonna go. <gasps> Guys, look at these awesome pillows. Oh my goodness. We have, there's snow place like home. We have Mary and Brat and oh my goodness. I am in love look with these one. pillows. These I files. I love that we were able to make this all one color. Right? I love it. It gives it like that little bit of elegance yeah. with these amazing colors. Guys, this is awesome. And again, if you want to be able to make these same projects, you want to be creative with us. If you're a beginner out there, our membership is definitely for you. If you're someone that uses your Cricut every day, the, our membership is for you. So click that first link below and join our community of die cutting enthusiasts. It's the Honestly, it's the best way to support what we do here. Definitely. It allows us to be able to afford to pay Rachel. It allows us to pay our videographers to film more videos for you. It allows us to come up with ideas and be able to just continuing um, pouring into this community. So first of all, I just wanna thank you for your support of subscribing and watching and hanging out with us. But if you're looking to get awesome files, to hang out with us, to join our member only Facebook group, if you love what you see here, you're definitely going to love the membership. So click that first link, learn all about it. Um, we have three different membership tiers, but we do have to say our year membership 
is wonderful. You're getting the financial incentive of getting billed $15.99 a month a year or $15.99 a month billed annually rather than $19.99 a month. So that's your financial incentive. But we're also giving you three e-courses on our Cricut Maker, our Build a Business Through um, Die Cutting and Breaking Down Cricut Design Space. And Rachel, you can have any die cutting machine to enjoy our membership. Right. Anything that takes uh, SVG, PNG, mm -hmm. JPEG. Yes. So if you have a Cricut Maker, a Cricut Explorer, a Brother Scan and Cut, a Silhouette, this membership is for you. So definitely click that first link below. We have some amazing testimonials that um, are on there from actual members. So we love that. And guys, we are just so excited for this holiday season. So are there any questions? Yes. Um, we have... Um, Miss Wanda, she's hey, all Wanda. confused and that's fun. No worries. She said she's never used transfer tape with iron on vinyl. Did I miss something? So this is right here. It comes with it. So it's built in. We just call it transfer tape. It's the, um, this is what you cut on it. So yeah. it comes built in. So you put it down. And that's how you transfer yeah. your design onto the pillow that you're beating or yeah. whatever you're beating. So we have videos on it teaching you exactly how to use it. These, these videos are more to hang out, give you inspiration, chat. Um, but we have other videos specifically teaching you how to use your easy press, how to use iron on, all kinds of different applications for iron on. So stay tuned for more videos. Videos, go through our archives of videos it's awesome yeah that's a great tip too if you're if you have a question and either we don't get to it on the yeah. live or you don't want to email us about it scroll through Tanner's mm -hmm. the YouTube channel you, usually you'll find what you're looking there, for there's so many free videos over there so go check those out um you can search on the channel so you could put an easy press iron on anything like that to find videos that we've used that word so that's really nice well what are any other questions yeah Jessica wants to know hey, if Jessica. we have a video showing on how to calibrate different uh, different things on your Cricut Maker. Honestly, I don't, um, besides in our e-course. So if you want to learn how to use your Cricut Maker, um, we offer the e-course for you um, and part of our year membership, but we also sell that individually. Um, it walks you through like setting up your machine and whatnot, but also it's really easy. You just follow the steps. It's nothing super daunting or anything like that. I love how um, friendly Cricut is with all of us because I, it, it makes my life easier. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So awesome. Is there anything else? No, everybody's just giving a lot of love. They're all running to Michaels. Run um, to Michaels. You can't yeah. walk to Michaels. You've got to run yeah, to Michaels so that you can make these awesome DIY holiday Christmas pillows. We love the Buffalo, um, what is plaid. Buffalo plaid. We Tana love it. does that. need a nap. I do need a nap. <laughs> Um, but yes, so definitely check that out. Love being able to use iron on on pre stuffed pillows. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll be back here very soon sharing more DIY videos. If you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to turn notifications on so you know when we're hanging out with you guys and chatting so you can ask your questions. And again, thank you so much. So, Rachel, we'll see you guys back here later, right? Yeah, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> awesome. Bye, guys.